up guys, Jerarian here today I'm back with another video. To um today this is some Overwatch gameplay. My friend, I don't know where he, he just he he just like thought of this out of nowhere. But so what the concept is you have how many people on one team it doesn't even matter and like one roadhog on the other team if like you want to have more than one roadhog it's also fun cuz I, I, I did that two hog two roadhogs is fun so so like you have more than one priority like one person to focus focus on so um <clears throat> what we did was you have to be a soldier and you have to run around the map. It doesn't. It doesn't matter what what map. Um, we didn't do any like payload maps because like those maps are too big. So like soldiers, they run around uh, around the map, and then the one or two roadhogs have to try to hook the soldiers and kill the soldiers. If the if the soldiers die, that means like if the soldiers die, they have to change to Farah. Cause like the fairy can fly around and spectate, and fairy can't do anything. So we, uh, no, I, I think we changed the map right here. But ability cooldown time has to be on twenty five percent. If it's on zero percent, the road is gonna be unfair to the soldiers. Cause like the soldier, I mean the roadhog could just keep on hugging. So the last soldier could kill um the roadhog. If you have two roadhogs you can like the last two soldiers could kill the roadhog if you have two roadhogs. It's it's like Michael Myers in Overwatch basically. But like you have no. if as a soldier you have no you have like no hiding time. You, you can't hide it. It's not hide and seek. Um that, that, that's it, basically. The, the, um, the Roadhog has to kill the soldier to, like, get them. This, this was fun. Like, you could go to hiding spots, but it's, <laughs> it's more fun if you just went around. That's what we did. The best, the best map to play it on is, is um, Elias, cause like, it's like the tiniest map in the game. I think, wait, yeah, I th the first soldier that died, he said that his controller di um died, so that that didn't count. I don't I don't know how though. So we were all still soldiers. We were well I was running around trying to get away from the roadhog. Like you never know where the roadhog's at. Like he could he could see you going one way and take like a shirt away and hook you. I should've uh, as a roadhog, it's actually fun. It's more fun than you think. I was scared I would get hooked right there. We did this with eight people after this. Like, yeah, we did it with like eight people after. My my friend, he found out a rocket. Jump. He found out a rocket jump spot. Uh, I don't. I'm not sure if I went to it in this one. Oh, that soldier that died. He he didn't want to switch for some reason. I don't know why. But like he he wasn't switching. But like he was disqualified. So we know which one was disqualified. This was this. 
do this, I think it took around like four minutes. I, I don't I didn't know what a road hog was right here. It's it's like not really that good being a road hog, but it's kind of good being a soldier because like like the road hog is so loud. All right, well that's been it for two guys. I'm really about peace. If you're still here, type your very on in the comments. Oh wait, I think I was the last soldier right here. I think I lost this one. <laughs> he kept on missing his hooks. But his hooks were- Oh yeah, I was, I was trying to run away to put my um thing down. Well, that's been it for today guys. I'm your very on, and I'm out. Peace!